we are in our truest and finest essences, gods and goddesses of a land before creation as we know it. We have a stature and we have a being. We have a place of origin and we have a people in that land. And the more that we activate the memory and the knowing of that and have faith and trust in it, the more that we can express and embody that memory of mythic proportion in the very simple everyday things of our lives. There are times when what is mythic is more true than what seems to be factual. There are times when we cannot go to the facts of the world in which we live, the apparent facts, to understand the real context in which we're functioning. Because when we look at those facts, so often they trigger some small way of thinking and some small way of conceiving of, of ourselves and a small way of conceiving of what is possible. We each have magical powers of sight, of understanding, powers of healing, powers of growing things, powers of transformation. We have the ability to come into a place and make it different from what it was before we came. We have the power of possibility to bring, the power of inspiration. Those magical powers infuse our practical ones. I'm all for being a practical person. But the practical powers, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and washing the dishes, and building things, all have to be infused with magical powers as well. We call upon that place from which we come, which our human mind can hardly understand, and yet which is real. We understand it in myth and legend, and dreams, and paintings, and songs. We understand it in the mental forms drawn from the world in which we live. And yet those forms in consciousness, those forms that are mythic in proportion, are letting our human experience know about something that transcends the forms themselves. The breakdown of human character in the world in which we live is a reflection of a loss of memory, of a character, of mythic proportion. It's a loss of our mythic story together as human beings. It's a loss of the sense of the place from which we come and a place from which some part of us has never left. But we come from a lineage of creation. We come from this very center of creation. We're inspired when we take in the mythic proportions of our life and the path that we are treading and the magic of creation that we're bringing. 